bad luck on today's result. However, congratulations on, of course, uh, making it to the final. How would you, uh, what, what, what will be your takeaways from your experience here in Australia? <laughs> uh, first of all, I mean, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, it's really, I mean, it's really close to the match right now, so it's really hard to just like summarize stuff, you know, like all the things that have been happening like last three to five weeks. So, you know, just overall, I would just say that, you know, I just feel really happy. I mean, even, you know, even it didn't go our way today. I just feel, you know, just really grateful and just I feel really fortunate to, you know, to be able to be here and play t some tennis and, you know, have have a crowd and, you know, really just enjoy myself. And I think, you know, let's it. I think I was able to. I mean, I, I think I was able to do that. So, I mean, I just see this whole situation and this whole experience just, um, you know, very positive. So. That's my my kind of a summary, yeah. Thank you. We'll go to online questions and from the New York Times, Ben Rothenberg. Congratulations to both of you for making the final. Um, are you how proud are you of making the final? And I guess Robert, for you also in mixed, after having been in the hard quarantine group. I don't know if we how we thought people would come out of that, but you guys obviously had good success. You asking me or? <laughs> Oh, whoever wants to answer. <laughs> uh, of course, we are really proud because there was some rough times during the stay here in Australia, but we are so happy that we could come here even after the hard quarantine and make, make like title and final. So, uh, I mean, it's really amazing that we could we could play so great tennis and go so far. So it's really nice to be here. Yep, you can go again, Ben. Thank you. Um, when they were in here earlier, Elisa and Arena were saying this, or Arena was saying this, probably the last slam they're going to play together in doubles for a while because Arena wants to focus more on singles at Grand Slams. And I'm wondering for both of you, you know, also being top hundred singles players, how you how you find the the balance? You've obviously been together for a long time as doubles players too, but how do you, how do you work on that that balance at this stage of your careers? Barbara, you want to take this one? Um, yeah, I'm she thinking. played mix also. Yeah, so I mean, I've she been. Yeah. No enough. <laughs> you know, I've been just like, you know, as as I said already, I just feel really fortunate that that you know that I've been playing this well and we've been playing this well and you know I was just able to get to the finals in you know so many so many categories. So I mean, just for me, you know, it's nice and I mean, I just try to you know I'm not really that good in singles yet as Arena or, or even uh, Alice, so, you know, they can only focus on, on Grand Slams because they know they just going to do well. But, I mean, for me, it's really tough. So, you know, I just really appreciate to play double and mix. And, I mean, for me, everything is just kind of kind of new because pretty much last year I ended the top 100. So, um, I mean, it's, you know, like, I don't really know, like, well, I, I feel like so far I've been balancing it well, but I mean, it's really just everything is so new and, uh, you know, all of this is just, you know, new experience. And so far I feel that I'm actually holding up really well, my, my body and, uh, and physically I feel, I feel good. So I'm just really, I'm just really happy that, you know, the, that all that hard work that was, you know, done during the, during the off season uh, is paying off and... I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm just looking forward for, you know, for another matches. You know, I just want to stay healthy and, and I mean, let's see what's gonna, what's 2021 gonna br gonna bring to us. Yeah. And then one last thing for me, I think, um, Jennifer Brady, uh, who's in the fi women's fi singles final, uh, was one of the players who was in hard quarantine also. And I think she was the only player from that group to make even the fourth round in singles. So it was obviously um tough are you, are you if she wins the title or even making the final are you surprised that someone who was in that in that situation i was able to do so well in the in the singles because she's sort of been a complete exception to the rest of the rest of the group there 
Um, I mean, it's amazing. It's it's really nice that she she played so great because of course it was uh, really tough for us. But I mean, we work hard. We know how to play tennis, so it's really nice that like her body and her mentality and everything is ready for it, and that uh, she great uh, like she played so great. So it's really nice.